Hi, in this class we will continue our study of decimal numbers and the next topic that we will see is place values after the decimal point. So, we have seen what a decimal number is. A decimal number is any number that has a decimal point followed by at least one digit to the right of the decimal point. And we will talk about place values after that decimal point. So, suppose we are given a number say 3215. Now, in this number, we know that this rightmost digit 5 is always at the units place. So, this is at the units place, which is also called the ones place. So, this digit is at the ones place. Similarly, if you look at the next digit 1, then we know that this digit is at the tens place. Likewise, the left digit 2 is again at the hundreds place now. So, we will write this as the hundreds place. And finally, this digit 3 is at the thousands place. So, so far we have seen that a given number can have many digits and the digit to the rightmost position of that number is always the units digit, which is preceded by the tens digit, which in this case is 1 and preceded by the hundred digit, which in this case is 2. And before that comes the digit 3, which is in the thousands place. So, we are talking about places of digits in a given number. So, the digits in this number are 3, 2, 1, 5 and because of their position, 3 is said to be at the thousands place, 2 is at the hundreds place, 1 is at the tens place and finally 5 is at the units place. So, we now know places of these numbers. But now we are talking about decimal numbers. So, suppose now we write a decimal point. Note that a decimal point can be followed by one or more digits and so if we follow it up with digits such as 7, 4, 3 or let's take 748. So now we are taking an example of a number wherein we have 3215 to the left of the decimal point and we have the digits 7, 4 and 8 to the right of the decimal point. And because there is at least one digit to the right of this decimal point, this entire number becomes a decimal number. Well, now to understand this, realize that to the left of the decimal point, we first have the units digit. So here we can call as this is the units place. So this becomes the ones place. So I can also write the units place as the ones place. The next digit is 1 which is at the tens place. So the tens place can be written like this. Likewise, to the left of this tens place comes the hundreds place. So I can write hundreds place over here. And to the left of the hundreds place comes the thousands place. So this becomes the thousands place and so on. So as on you move left, this place increases by the factor of 10. Now note that if you look on the negative side, if you look from left to right, so you are now reading the number from left to right. Here the place was 1000, here the place was 100, here the place was 10, here the place was 1. And so we are always dividing this, as we move right, we are dividing this place by 10. So earlier we had a 1000, which we divided by 10 to get 100, which we divided by 10 to get 10, which we divided by 1 to get or we divided by 10 to get a 1. This process will continue even after the decimal point and because we have a 1 here, we will divide that 1 by a 10 and so here we will get a 1 by 10. So this becomes the 1 by 10's place where this is present. This digit 7 is present. If you divide 1 by 10 by 10 again, I will get the place 1 by 100. And again if you move one more digit to the right, then here the place value is or rather here the place is 1 by 1000. So note that we started with 1000, then we came down to 100 and then 10 and then 1 and then we continued going down. That is we continued dividing this place by 100 or rather by 10. So we now obtained such a hierarchy or such place values or such places for these given numbers. Note that these places that occur to the right of the decimal point are fractional and these are less than 1. So we started with this number 3215.748. And we saw that to the left of the decimal points, we had digits 3, 2, 1, 5 in a given order. And so we wrote down the place or places of these digits to the left of the decimal point. But we realized that when we move to the right of the decimal point, we again get some more places and we continue a single trend. That is earlier the digit 3 was at the thousands place, 2 was at hundreds, 1 was at tens, 5 was at ones and so on. So we continue diminishing this place by a factor of 10. And so if we want to find the value of this entire number we can write. So now I'm talking about the place value of a digit. So earlier we had seen the places of the digits and now we will focus on place value of the digits. Well, the digit 3 is at the thousands place and so its place value will be 
थ्री इंटू वन थाउजेंड सिमिलरली द डिजिट टू इज एट द हंड्रेड प्लेस एंड इट्स प्लेस वैल्यू विल बी टू इंटू हंड्रेड द नेक्स्ट डिजिट वन इज एट द टें प्लेस एंड सो इट्स प्लेस वैल्यू विल बी वन इंटू टेन द नेक्स्ट डिजिट फाइव इज एट द यूनिट्स प्लेस सो इट्स प्लेस वैल्यू विल बी फाइव इंटू वन एंड दिस प्रोसेस विल कंटिन्यू नोट दैट द डिजिट सेवन इज एट वन बाय टेन प्लेस एंड सो वी विल राइट दिस एज सेवन इंटू वन बाय टेन Similarly, this digit four is at one by hundreds place, and so its place value will be four into one by hundred. And similarly, for the last digit, whose place value will be eight into one by thousand, because it is at the one by thousands place. So we have now seen that given a decimal number, how we will write its expansion. And further, if we have some more digits to the right of the decimal point, so suppose I have more digits here, what will I do? I will follow the same pattern wherein. The next place is less than the current place by a factor of ten, and so if I have a digit say seven over here, I will multiply this seven by this place value, which will now become one upon ten thousand. So here I am adding a zero in the denominator, or including one more zero in the denominator every time I go to the right, and so in this way I can write the place value of any number after the decimal point. So we've now seen how to deal with place values that come after the decimal point in a decimal number.